My first worry later.
hat. Now then, Monstrums, what do you say we finish up my request? What? But you already killed all of the homunculi. There's just one more to go. This one. You cannot mean... Wait, so you're also a homunculus? Yeah. Funny, isn't it? What was his name? Chatelard? I don't know when he created me. It was probably when the real me came to this prison for an inspection. But it doesn't matter now. Would you oblige me at all? I wouldn't want it to be anyone else. That's why I brought someone to convince you. I wish to ask this of you as well, at all. doing here I recall Parks mentioning that he was friends with Marius Marcus Claudius Germanicus that is the name of one of the most celebrated revered people in the Roman Empire Marius is with all due respect a homunculus of that man what <laughs> it all makes sense now what makes sense what are you talking about? Marius is a homunculus of the current Emperor of Rom. What? He is? But if you're his friend, then who are you, Parks? I regret I had to keep it a secret from you all. But my real name is Lindheim. I was formerly only a Cardinal of the Church, but now I am also Governor General of Glia. But, weren't you supposed to be missing? Cardinal Lindheim. I knew you weren't just some old man, but I can't say I saw this coming. When I went to inspect the prison, I saw an inmate who looked just like his majesty. I thought my eyes were deceiving me, so I investigated as an undercover prisoner. But I had no idea he was a homunculus. It was my fault you went through all of that, Lindheim. Nonsense. It was my choice. I couldn't turn a blind eye to His Majesty. Even if you're not precisely the same person. I figured Adol needed to hear this to understand your reasoning. I believe Chatelard has some kind of control over me. After we escaped, I knocked Adol out and returned to the prison with him. In the same vein, I think it prevents me from ending my own life. I may not be a real Imperial Knight, but it'd be nice to go out like one. That's why it needs to be you, Adol. You're the only one who can do this. Yeah. <laughs> I owe you one, my friend. All right, Adol. Don't hold back. Say one more thing before I go. In your adventures, you save people's lives 
<laughs> you lead them. Give them courage. You discover the unknown. And little by little, your actions change the world. I'm sure, Adol, that you'll come to understand the meaning of this. Someday. Well, look at me. Giving advice on my deathbed. When you find the answer, tell it to the real me. Won't you? I'm sure that wisdom will help the world. Find the one who's behind this. You have to stop him. <laughs> Thanks for being my friend. We had a good run. <sighs> Adol. Thank you, Adol. I know. I'm positive he felt the same way. We're all depending on you to make his final request a reality. He was one hell of a guy, but I guess I shouldn't be surprised. The one who's behind this? He must have known about Zola. So he was the Emperor's... <laughs> um, I had no idea that you were the Governor General, Parks. I hope we didn't do anything to offend you. Of course you didn't. And I'm the one who owes you an apology. Forgive me for keeping this a secret from all of you. Y you don't have to! I hope you will find the sincerity in my words, despite my prevarication. I'm very glad to have met you all, though I wish it were in different circumstances. With that, I should also be on my way. No. The dandelion never would have been possible without you. You're the one who started it, Governor General or not. And I believe it would be in your best interest as Governor General to see this through. It is handy having you around. And maybe you could keep those nosy soldiers in check. Well, not that someone like Belger would pose much of a threat. Hmm. <laughs> you are all very convincing. Uh, very well. I shall remain at the Dandelion. Though I may return to my office occasionally, to tend to my many long overdue affairs. Yes. Yes, likewise. But are you sure about this? My allegiance lies with Rom. Of course we are! To us, you're still Parks, not the Governor General. I understand. I shall be sure to remember that.
Now, at all, is this your card? No? Then, how about this one? Very well. Now, if you will just add the two numbers together. <sighs> you really are a curious fellow, aren't you? But unfortunately, a magician never reveals his secrets. To tell you the truth, I wanted to discuss one other thing. I wished to express my gratitude to you for allowing me to remain as Parks and for treating me as such. I found a great many things that I would never have found as the Cardinal. And most of all at all, I thank you for saving a friend of mine. If you'd allow me the sentiment, I consider you a friend as well. Yes. <laughs> I wouldn't have it any other way. Balduk's future is still uncertain. I will secure the full capacity of the Roman army to ensure the safety of these citizens. As my friend, you have my full support, so you can focus on what you need to do. Have a moment. Yes. Nice wind blowing today. It's been a while since Arthur got to fly as he pleased. My final mission is now complete. <laughs> it wouldn't have been possible were it not for you. It doesn't feel right to celebrate on the eve of your upcoming battle. Still, it's good to have someone to share this with. With the Cardinal watching over the Princess, I can retire with peace of mind. All that remains is to repay what I owe to all of you. After that, I wouldn't mind going somewhere quiet, far away from here. Just me and Arthur. Hmm. Hmm? <laughs> Nothing. I've accomplished enough missions to last a few lifetimes. I started when I was just a kid. Now, I'm done with it for good. There's nothing left for me to do. Then... More to life than missions? Come to think of it, I've never considered doing anything else. But, you make a good point. The end of one thing marks the beginning to another. I envy your insight the things you must have seen on your travels. But knowing the way you see the world, it reassures me that there's something out there waiting for me. So I'll have to wait until Balduk's future is safe. What do you think, Arthur? Where would you like to go after this is all over?
Sure thing. See you later then. This one. Oh, Rodario, that one simply won't do. I think girls these days prefer frills like this one has. Oh, for crying out loud, Melissa. You don't like any of the ones I pick. Maybe this would be easier if you just picked it yourself. I do have my opinions, but I could never decide all on my own. Is everything okay, Anamona? Uh, yes. I was just thinking about Melissa and Rodario's conversation. It reminded me of something. Of something from your past? Yes. A memory from many years ago. Of a time I spent with Rosfida. With Aprilis. What do you think, Anamona? What do... I think? You wish to know if that dress is defective? No, silly! It's a new outfit for you to wear! It took me a long time to make these. It's a present from me to you. A present? Then shall I give you something in return? You don't need to give me anything. I just want us to be friends, Anamona. Papa has already instructed me to do so. That's not what I mean. Why? How could you do that? Your doll was getting old. I merely attempted to give her a new body. However, I did not expect her soul to reject it and disappear. But you didn't have to throw her away! Hmm? What is the reason for this outburst? You don't know anything! I've had Anamona since I was little! I can't believe my eyes. I thought 
thought you were gone forever. But here you are. I want so badly to take you with me, but you have your own life now. And I can't risk losing you again. Goodbye, Anamona. Until next time. She didn't take you because she was worried about you. It sounds like Aprilis was actually a pretty normal girl. I'm kind of relieved to hear that. <gasps> Anamona? You're smiling! Hmm? Oh. So it seems dolls can smile too. Anamona. So what you were looking for was Aprilis all along? Perhaps, but only in the beginning. Now I wish to find a way to end the Grimwald Nox forever. Aprilis has been fighting alone for so long. But now, I can do something to help her. I do not want for her to feel alone again. Yeah. Thank you, Adol. So, what do you all think about this Zola guy? From what I know about him, he sounds unpredictable, and his magnum opus is anybody's guess. Yeah, I just hope that we'll find out soon. <laughs>